Good day, all kings and queens, all gods and goddesses, all beautiful people. I am B. Floss to God. And today I just want to speak briefly on how I use my imagination to manifest. Right? And when I say imagination now, I'm talking about actually using the visuals, you know, they actually seeing what it is I'm trying to manifest. Right? Whether as just by using words, right? I'm actually seeing everything. Right? Now, most spiritual teachers, such as Neville Goddard, right, would speak about the importance of sleep, right, setting your attention just before you fall asleep. And the reason why they say sleep is very important when it comes to manifesting your every desire, right, using your imagination, is because when you sleep, when you're sleeping, right, you have less thoughts going on in your mind, right, so it's easier to impress the subconscious mind that way, right? When you're sleeping. So that's why it's very important to set positive intentions before you drift off to sleep, right? Because whatever it is that's going on in your mind, it will impress upon the subconscious mind much faster and easier, and it will be projected on the screen of space. So you will meet it in the near future, right? And um, not only sleep, but the state akin to sleep and this state akin to sleep is just a relaxed state you know just feeling calm and relaxed right and meditation can help you to get into that state akin to sleep right because you lessen the thoughts going on in your mind you know so the mind becomes you know more sharper and it's and the subconscious mind you know it's easier now to impress the subconscious mind because you have less thoughts going on in your mind right so for me um i prefer to do my affirmations right before i drift off to sleep but when it comes to my imagination and my visuals right i prefer to do it during the day so what i would do is i would sit at the end of my bed right or in the veranda in a chair and i would close my eyes sometimes i can go straight in to the um imaginal acts right because sometimes my mind you know i don't really have much thoughts going on so it's easier for me to just sit and just bring the visuals straight to my mind right but sometimes most of the time I would meditate before you start, right? Because you don't want to bring the previous thoughts that you would had, you know, into what it is you're trying to manifest, right? So I would meditate a bit just to center myself and be more relaxed, right? And I would meditate for about five to ten minutes, you know, but your choice is yours, right? Because sometimes I get so, um, I get so like caught up inside the meditation, like it feels so good that I don't, I don't want to come out. You know, so I just let it run its course until they feel it's time for me then to bring the um my imaginal acts to my to my mind. Right? So what I do is I will sit at the end of my bed or I will sit in the chair, get relaxed, like meditate first. After I'm done and I feel comfortable, you know, I feel satisfied, I will then create a short scene. And the reason why you want the scene to be short, right, is because like uh just to keep your attention sharp. So the shorter it is, the better it is. Because if you have a whole long scene, like it's easy for the mind to drift, right? If you have something very short and precise, straight to the point, right? It's easier for you to like just create that scene and you know and just loop it because you're gonna be playing it over and over again too as well. So it can impress the subconscious mind. If it's something that's very long, I'm not saying you can't impress the subconscious mind with it that way, right? If you are intense enough. But the but the shorter it is, the better it is. Right? So you create, what I do is, I close my eyes and I would create a scene for my desire, right? A very short scene. I will go straight to the end, which would imply that I already have what it is that I want, right? And what I do is, when I close my eyes, because you're not seeing yourself as though you're seeing yourself on the movie screen, you're actually in the imaginal act. So what I do is, when I close my eyes and I bring the scene to my mind, first things first, I look at my hands, my imaginary hands, I put them in front of my eyes, right? My imaginary hands, and I just flip them over in my imagination like this, right? I squeeze it and stuff like that, just to show that it's me that's actually experiencing experiencing what I'm experiencing now, right? Then I will look down. I will look down and I will see my waist, whatever shirt it is that I have on, and I will see my, my legs, you know? And look and see what shoes I have on and what's not, right? Just scan, it's like a scan. But I'm actually like looking at it, looking down and looking at everything. Right? Then I would raise my eyes, still in my imagination, 
right? And I would look ahead. So let's say I'm imagining myself in my luxurious home, you know, ocean views, right? I would close my eyes, scan myself, what's not, boom, right? Then I would see myself like, or right, let's say standing, right? I'll be standing on the porch now, just overlooking the ocean. So I would raise my head and I would look ahead and I would see the ocean. I would hear the sounds that it make. Right? I would hear the trees. I would look around now. Look to my left and my right. What would I see? You know, I would see a couple of coconut trees, palm trees just blowing in the wind. Right? And I would hear the birds. And I would hear the ocean. Right? And I would feel, I would touch the ledge now of the of, of the patio. Right? You know, the ledge that would be right there. Like I would squeeze it and hold it tight just to feel, you know. Let's say it's made out of wood. So we just I know what wood feels like. So we we'll grip it. You know, and I would hold it with both hands, just tight, just to get the feeling. You know, I was still looking ahead at the ocean, you know, and hearing the birds, and I would look around to, I would look to my left, and I would look to my right, what would I see? Right? I would probably see a couple of trees over there, still in the patio. On the other side, you know, as I look, I would see a couple of chairs, you know, in the patio and what's not. Look behind me, I would see the door, which is the entrance to my home, you know, and I create as I go along the way. Right, I create like a setup be seen as I go along the way. You now, what you can do as well too, you can go on Google, right? And you can Google whatever it is you're trying to manifest, just to get the picture of it. So when you close your eyes now, you can see it perfectly. If you can't really create it like that, you're on your own, right? Because I used to do that in the beginning too, when I first heard about visualizations and stuff, right? But I'm an artist, so like I create as I go, right? So once I look around now, when I realize where I am and I see in the details. I try to put in as much details as I can, right? But even if it's blurry to you, because at times it would be blurry to me, right? If you can still hear the sounds of everything, like the, like the ocean and what's not in the birds, and you can actually feel, still feel the, the grip of the patio, right? Even if you look around and things are a bit blurry, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't matter. It's the feeling you're going after, because once you can hear all of that, and you can actually, you know, feel the patio and what's not, and, you know, and smell smell the, the um the breeze from the ocean you know that will still bring some some type of warm feeling to you a feeling of joy satisfaction you know that you're in your own home right so the visuals don't have to be always clear at times mine can be a bit blurry but the more you do it the more you practice it you know it becomes more clear and your imagination gets more stronger right if it's money i will see you know, I would see the hundred dollar bills in my hand and I would just start counting them. You know? And hearing the crisp song of um of the dollar notes as I as I you know, as I count them in my in my imagination. Right? And even if the dollar bills look kinda of blurry, it doesn't matter. You know, sometimes I would take it, smell it in my imagination, you know, feel it, hear the sound it makes, and just start counting. If I'm carrying on a conversation with a friend. I know what their voice sounds like, or I would listen to a voice note that they sent or something, study the voice, right? And then create a dialogue, a very short dialogue in my imagination of how I want it to go, telling them what I want to tell them and hearing them telling me what they want to tell me, right? And I do this on a daily basis. So I was sent to myself first, as I said, seated. But you can, you know, some of I would lie on my back too, but I prefer to sit up, you know, that I won't really... That my mind, so my mind will stay focused on what it is I'm trying to, trying to do, right? Instead of like drifting off to sleep fast, I just want to, you know, just create, and and that is it, right? So I will sit, meditate for a bit, just to center myself, just be relaxed, and bring to my mind's eye just a very short scene of me already having my desire, living in the end, going straight to the end, not the middle, straight to the end. So if it's a specific person you want, go straight to the end. You know, you're all, you're all already married and everything. You know, and just carrying on a conversation, reminiscing, right? How y'all first met and stuff. Yeah, and look how, how, you know, look how many years y'all been together. You know, something like that. Go straight to the end. But shouldn't imply that you already have it. And they create the short scene, and they loop it over and over again. Right? So let's say I'm in my house. I'm in my little serious home. And I'm walking around, touching, you know, everything, the furniture, the bed, just to get the feel of it, you know. And I would like, loop that scene over and over, just a very short scene. I loop it over and over until I feel satisfied with it. And then I drop it and I go on with my day, 
Amazing Arts. Amazing Art will create multiple, multiple um, imaginal acts as well. So when they finish that, right, it will take, take like a couple seconds break and then it will create another imaginal act. Right, so that's it. Just wanted to share, you know, how I use my imagination to manifest. Right, so with all that being said, I am Be Floss to God, sending you love, peace, joy, prosperity, and blessings as usual. If you haven't sub subscribed, feel free to do so. Click the notification bell as well for more videos to come. All right, peace and love.